Lawrence the Source of Collie versus David the Great White Light. This is the first time Eddie Hearn has ever been happy about a boring performance by Lawrence Okolli because he weren't promoting it. A guy on Twitter said if he saw Lawrence Okolli and David Light fighting in his back garden, he closed the curtains. <laughs> Okolli looked like he was caught between the styles of his old trainer Shane McGuigan and new trainer Sugar Hill. He comes out in the first round in that classic cronk stance, trying to hold center ring and get his right hand off. He was trying to loop the right hand round the guard early on rather than throwing it straight, but Light was blocking it. Presumably, he couldn't see an opening for it down the middle. He was also throwing right hands to the body to try and bring David Light's guard down. But the one thing that was missing was a solid left jab. It was limp as anything. Need to put some Viagra in that jab. He's got those gangly octopus-like arms, Lawrence O'Colly, and he just couldn't get the left hand off quick enough to walk David Light onto it as he was coming in. His timing was way off. Could be ring rust from being out the ring a year, or maybe the new style just don't suit him. Who knows? He seemed to revert back to the McGuigan style as the rounds passed, using his legs and trying to keep maximum distance between himself and the opponent at all times. When Light did manage to bridge the gap, Okolli would either dip to his own right or grab him. And unfortunately, the clinches became more frequent as the fight wore on. Okolli started landing straight right hands late in the fight. Not sure if the looping right hands early on were a setup for that, or if there were just more gaps in Light's defense and time to exploit them as fatigue set in and the pace slowed. Light showed a good chin and plenty of heart, but his offense was pretty limited. He did catch Akali a few times, but not enough to make a case for himself on the scorecards. Akali gets the UD, retains his WBO Cruiserweight World title. Horrible fight to watch. A win is the most important thing, yes. Secure the victory and worry about looking good next time. If you know how to win ugly, it's a handy thing to have in the locker. But the common perception with Akali is, he only knows how to win ugly and no other way. Pretty performances are few and far between. The crowd booed both during and after this one. Ben Shalom must have been squirming in his chair. Okolli, to his credit, never shies away from a challenge, but the public are shying away from his fights. Even if he wants to unify, I'd be surprised if they can get Jay or Pattaya or Badu Jack over to Britain because they're not well known in the UK. You won't sell enough tickets to cover the purses, so it's a financial disaster. And you're not going to take that kind of hit unless you think there's a big payoff with a collie somewhere down the line. Maybe they could get Gulamirian over for relatively cheap. I don't know. But failing that, I suspect he'll have to travel if he wants to unify. The best he can do in the UK right now is probably the Richard React Paul fight because anything else is a very tough sell. For the longest time, I thought a collie was levels above React Paul, but based on their most recent performances, I might have to reevaluate. Okolli needs to get his act together with his new coach or the midnight train might railroad him. Are you sick and tired of the mainstream mindset? Does the dogmatic conformity and pathological ignorance have you tearing your hair out in frustration? Then don't be alone. Come and join our brotherhood on Patreon. We stand as a beacon of reason against an army of insanity. You'll gain access to my weekly topical podcast where we take more deep dives than Jacques Cousteau on an endless variety of subjects. There's also videos, interviews, live Q&As, as well as a vast back catalog of previous episodes, including my popular Confessions of a Nightclub Bouncer series. You can listen via the Patreon app or download in high quality MP3. Connect with myself and hundreds of other members in our Element chat group. There's no contract, no commitment. You can cancel at any time and it's cheaper than a Mickey D's McMuffin. Just head to my Patreon page via the link below this video and select the tier called the Brotherhood of Reason. I'll see you over there.